West Sydney with a possession arrow. A two-point ball game. Twenty-three points to twenty in favour of West Sydney in that third period. So they've won two periods. Wollongong has won one so far, but Wollongong leads. Darnell Me in over the back of Simon Dwight picks up the foul. That will be his first in the match. Really, turn around against Matt Campbell. Knocks down another. 36 in the game for John Really, including 14 of 20 from the field. Oh, and all tough shots like that. Matt Campbell, he could no more he can do. Ties it away. Glenn Sable playing with four fouls. Fires unsuccessfully. Really and McKinnon between them. Working hard to grab the rebound. A chance for them to retake the lead. This hinder from close range does just that. West Sydney and hopefully get another crack on Wednesday from their perspective. Sydney Kings wouldn't mind this going to a third guy game either as Sonic Twine throws down the dunk. West Sydney back in front by two. Samuel against McKinnon, now Dench joining in against Russell Hinder. Offensive foul is built on the Wollongong Hawks. Third personal on Axel Dench. Russell Hinder with a good job of sliding right there. Excellent defensive play. Second team foul on Wollongong in this term, where Sydney has committed one since three-quarter time. John Rilly, a memorable performance. Goes to McKinnon. Now Dwight elevates from the foul line and knocks down the shot. Thirteen in the match now for Simon Dwight. As Darnell Mee goes to work, couldn't finish it. Dench, the offensive rebound. Wollongong with another opportunity, and Savile likes to look at the triple. An air ball. Fans are going berserk. West Sydney leads by four. Razorback's biggest lead of the match was seven, and that was at quarter time. Almost three minutes played in this final term. McKinnon feeds really, who fires the triple. Oh boy! You got it. This with Axel's man. Let's go, fellas. The start of this turn from West Sydney has them in the driving seat at the moment. Shot clock to single numbers, and Damon Lowry produces the good. Now with eight in the game. Dwight barges over the top of Troy Pillen. It's an offensive foul on Simon Dwight. It's his fifth personal. Five minutes remaining. Game two of this series. West Sydney one up. John Rilly puts them within smelling distance of being two up. Rilly has 42 in the game. Equals his season high. One shy of his career high. Saddle for the answering three. Not this side. And really has the rebound. 14 point lead. And it is looking scary for Wollongong now. Wollongong will either get back in it or they're going to get blown out. They got to have that go though. Fouls on Lowry. Free throws to come for Stephen Markovic. And John really's 42. The highest score in the playoffs this year. And closing in on the all-time highest score in the playoffs. There's a lot of shots that he hit tonight, but two of them come to mind when I have to think about his game. Those two fallaways over Matt Campbell were as tough as any shots you'll see.
considering he had 42 against the team that prides himself on their deep. Great individual defenders too, Darnell Me, Matt Campbell, been trying to slow John really down, but to no avail tonight. Ten point ball game. Pressure on John really needs help. Eritra here got it over the halfway line with seven of the eight seconds gone. And now the shot clock is down to ten. Traher with five on the shot clock. Doesn't matter what type of shot they get if they actually get one. It's Traher's running left hand and it rattles off the glass and tumbles. They can do it all. Twelve is a margin. Ben Knight for the triple. Knocks it down. Ben Knight gets his team back to within nine. We move inside the last 60 seconds and Russell Hinder is fouled too. They lead by 12 here as Darnell Me goes coast to coast. Not Russell Hinder over. It spills to McKinnon. Now for a hand. John Rilly for a career high. Turns down the shot. It's not about the individual for John Rilly. If it was about that, he would have had 60 by now. He just wants it to be over. Against Ben Knight, pulls the trigger, deserves it. John Rilly, a career high, 45, including six threes. Gives his team a 15-point lead, and it is all over for the Wollongong Hawks. And he's waving to the Wollongong crowd. Full time here at West Sydney, and the Pinks, for the second time in three years, are going to the grand final. They come from two points down at three-quarter time. And win in the final analysis by 15 points on the back of a superhuman effort from John Rilly. John Rilly scored the first points of the game. He scores the last points of the game. And in between, he tore the heart out of the Wollongong D to put West Sydney into the Sim City Grand Final against the Sydney Kings. And John Rilly is now a candidate for mayor, certainly of West Sydney. Maybe they'll make him state premier. He top scored in the game on Friday night with 25 points. He leads all scorers again here with 45 points. And he waves goodbye to the Wollongong fans and now he's ready to go with Steve Carfino. Well, John, I guess you didn't want that two at the end of the game. 45 big ones. Couldn't have come at a better time. Oh, hey, this is the time of the season. You want to be playing well. But at the same time, there's nothing to lose right now. So go out and give it a go. You guys had a great game. Wollongong gave you everything that they had, but you had all the answers tonight. Got the stops when you needed them, and you guys continue to hit the big shots when they were trying to get back in the game. Yeah, 60 points was just too much for them in the first half, but they, they got a lot of scrappy points, which they're renowned for, and we cut that out in the second half, and they uh, struggled to score. How do you guys feel? You look like you've gotten better every game in the playoffs. Uh, slowly but surely, we're gaining a bit of momentum. We hicked up at the end of the season, but now we're on a roll again, so let's see. I know you'd like to beat anybody to be the NBL champions, but I'm sure it'd be even sweeter if you beat your crosstown rivals. Uh, right now, they're not the Crosstown rivals, they're the defending champions, so uh, we're aiming for that, so let's, no one needs to say anything, it speaks for itself this series.